Hi guys, welcome. Um, today I am going to be showing you guys how to paint with chalk paint. Yes, exciting. Um, the pieces that I have are gonna be um, for this dining room area that I have in my home that is not furnished at all. Um, let me show you the pieces. So right here I have the white one, the before, pretty much before I'm gonna start painting. And the after, oh, look at that black. Just love it, it looks so cool. So if you guys wanna see how I painted and transformed this piece, stay tuned. Okay hey guys, so what you're gonna need is, or what I'm using today anyway, is a Martha Stewart's um, Vintage Decor Chalk Paint. I'm using the color Negro, sorry, I'm reading in Spanish, even though I know Spanish, Beetle Black. Color Beetle Black by Martha Stewart. And that's her signature chalk paint. And um, I found it at Michael's, okay? And after you have your paint, the next thing you will need is a brush. I also bought this brush at Michael's. It's the wide length one um, by their brand, Craft Smart. Um, I used the wide one, obviously, so I could do easier um, swipes and get it done faster. And that's pretty much all you need to get started so once you pick out the color that you want um the cool thing with chalk paint is that you actually don't need to um sand it down or prime it which is amazing um i ran across this on pinterest i was um looking at affordable ways to furnish my home and i came across chalk paint so um after you get your uh paintbrush and your paint that's pretty much all you need to get started um, to start painting you don't need to prime so I will show you guys uh, how I am going to start painting okay so before I start let me actually tell you guys a cool tip that I found on YouTube because that's where I've been looking up all these uh, wonderful ways to paint um, I did paint my other uh, night um, coffee table or um, side table um, already and I don't know what I'm gonna paint or not paint because I have a, uh, just recently had a baby, a newborn, so I don't know what I'm gonna come across to painting. So I heard this helpful tip, you just put it in the freezer with a little baggie. So I actually um, have these little plastic bags that you can put your um, paintbrush in and you just literally stick it in your fridge and it keeps it nice and moist and it doesn't dry it out or nothing and you can continue to paint. Um, I, I did it for I think I had it in there for like five hours so far and it's still moist and I can still paint I didn't have time to wash it um, I didn't know when I was gonna get back to painting but it's still perfect condition for me to continue and so I just wanted to tell you guys that a little tip okay so I'm gonna get out my brush um, I had an old tin that I've been using already um, to pour my paint in and you really this chocolate has been going along with I've already done a bench with this one, which I have um, going to be having a tutorial on that as well um, on how to paint fabric with chalk paint. So watch out for that video. Um, and I already painted that end table that I showed you guys earlier, and I am going to continue with this. So I'm going to show you guys how much I'm going to put down. It's literally, paint goes a long way. It's amazing. I thought I was going to need more. I don't know when the baby's gonna wake up, so I usually just try to do a little at a time anyway. And then, um, also another thing with chopping, do let it sit, since it's been sitting God knows how long on the shelf upwards, do place your chalk paint upside down for at least 10 minutes um, before using it so all the minerals can um, go downwards because they obviously are gonna hit downwards here when they're upwards so make sure you turn around for 10 minutes let all the minerals come down and you're gonna shake it of course give it a good shake after it's been sitting and then that's when your chalk paint is good to go another tip I've, I've learned and heard and went by okay so after I literally you guys can see how much chalk paint I put down there not that much at all so after working with my first piece, 
Just take in mind the piece I showed you was my first furniture piece that I did. No, actually second. Second that I've done. Um, I noticed that with the chalk paint, you do have to be quick. The quicker, the better, the more it'll go. So just kind of start giving strokes like such, like you're actually painting. I do try to keep it in one motion. I mean, if you're gonna wanna go up and down or side to side, however you'd like, but one motion is best. So literally, I barely dabbed my brush and I'm gonna show you guys how much I've covered so far. Pretty good. And it's really dark. The coverage is good. The coverage is good. So I am going to continue to paint here and show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. So easy strokes, not that much. I'm gonna show you guys how much that glob of paint is gonna get me by and then I'll show you guys once I'm done painting. Glob of paint that I had. Oh, I think I got some paint in my eye. Uh, looks all dark now. Anyway, so with that little paint that I showed you guys that I globbed on, um, see, you still see the shininess of it? The dry part is the old one. So the shiny little piece of paint that I literally put on here, um, I was able to cover quite a bit of my furniture. So I pretty much covered the top here and the bottom here. I still need to get more towards the back. But that little bit of paint really covered all that on my furniture piece already this far. So the paint does go a long way um, and that's amazing. Um, I failed to mention how much that little um, eight ounce of Martha Stewart paint costs. It is um, $11. I think it was like $10.99 or $11.99 um, at Michael's. Um, so yeah. I've, so far, I've only used one. I have one piece done, a uh, side table, and a bench that I did the top of uh, for uh, material-wise, the top of a bench and material. It's like a two-seater bench that I have another video on on how to do furniture with chopping. So, I will continue my project, and that is the basics of how to paint with chalk paint. Martha Stewart chalk paint at that. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, also, I think I also forgot um, in the beginning of my video to make sure that you guys, um, you don't need anything, of course, as I said already, to start this process, but as long as you have a clean surface. So make sure your surface is clean before you start. And yeah, that's easy as that, guys. And this is my second video, so be kind. Thank you. So here's the finished table once it's been waxed as well with a little bit of accessories. Played off on the gold. <laughs> and there's my son. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. You do need to wax if you want your furniture piece to last longer.